blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure intervalent routing plus DSCP server on a multi-layer switch or a layer 3 switch so we're going to use this smart layer switch to do intervalent routing and to act as our DSCP server in this network to provide IT department HR department and finance department dynamic ip address allocation all right okay so i'll open our google spreadsheet i'll let you know that we are doing part two of the interval routing plus dcp server configuration using much layer switch or layer three switch okay all right so without any further ado i'll open our google i mean our notepad to highlight the steps that we're going to follow to achieve the objective the first step is always the drawing the necessary, pol necessary topology, decorating, and doing comments. So you can see I've, uh, I do this topology using various components. The first component is, is the mat layer switch. I used 3650, 3650 mat layer switch. Make sure you choose 3650 mat layer switch. Then if we move down, I chose 36. I mean 2960 access layer switches okay then the normal computers and I did comments here this one this one is intervenor routing plus DCP here is IT department okay that's our IT department the network is there plus the VLAN it's a department network VLAN finally finance department network and VLAN so let's go to the second step that's done configure VLANs name them assign ports and configure trunk ports between the switches so in every switch here in every switch we're going to configure vlan as per the comments here so for example in this switch here it's going to belong to vlan 10 here vlan 20 here vlan 30 okay and we've been told also to configure trunk between the switches so any link connecting switch to switch will be trunk. So in my topology, you can see this is FA0-1, FA0-1, and FA0-1. So FA0-1 on all these switches should be trunk. But from FA0-2 to 24 will be access port with VLAN 10, with VLAN 20, or with VLAN 30. Okay, so let's begin that. I'll go to this switch and say enable. Uh, config t okay then let's create vlan we've been told the second step is to create vlans name them and assign ports so let's say vlan 10 we name as it we exit then we assign the vlan id to ports so interface range fa0 slash slash 2 to 24 because fa0 slash 1 should be our trunk now from fa0 slash 2 to 24 we'll be accessing vlan 10 okay so that says switch mode mode access let let them be access first then switch mode access vlan 10 exit then here configure trunk between the switches so our fa0 slash 1 should be our trunk okay so interface fa0 slash 1 switchboard mode just say switchboard mode trunk that's all so we do the same configuration in all the switches the two remaining switches the same configuration what will change does the vlan numbers okay all right so i'll do it very very fast save time Okay, guys. So I've done uh, I've done the part two of, uh, of the guide how to con we configure VLANs, naming them and assigning ports to the VLAN IDs. Okay, and also uh, configuring trunks between the switches. But we've not done for the multi layer switch here. We have to do the same for the multi layer switch here. Okay, remember we've configured. An individual switch with the respective VLAN. So, all those VLANs should be configured here also. 
VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30, okay? We have to configure all the VLANs here also, okay? So the first step, guys, you can see the 3650 matlayer switch is always powered off. So we have to power it on. How do we power it on? You just click on it. Just. Then, drag this AC power supply and put it into that empty slot. Just closed. Give it like 10 minutes until you see the uh, the links turn to orange. Then you click it again. Okay? All right. So you have to power it on first before you start configuration. Okay? Just click on it again. Come to CLI and say no. Remember, we're still on number two. Configure villains, name them, assign to ports, and configure trunk trunks between the switches. So on the multi-layer switch, we are, no, we are only not going to do this one. But we have to configure all the villains in the network. We have to name them and we have to configure trunks. So let's just go here and say enable uh, config T. Then VLAN 10. Uh, name IT. Then we come to VLAN 20. Uh, name HR. Then we come to VLAN 30. And name finance. Fin. Exit. Then the final part. Configure trunks between the switches. Okay. On the multi-layer switch, we are not going to assign them to port, uh, VLAN to ports. Okay. We are only going to configure trunks. Okay. All right. So let's identify trunk ports. Trunk ports will be this one. Uh, gig 0. Gig. Gig 102. Uh, gig 103 and gig 104 so from gig 102 to gig 104 should be trunk port so just say interface range gig 1 slash 0 slash 2 to 4 okay switch port mode to be trunk and you hit enter exit and do right so we're done with number two okay so let's go to step number three step number three is to enable ip routing on the mat layer switch remember we want this mat layer switch to act as both the switch and the router by default is always the switch so you have to make it act like say like a, a switch and a router by enabling routing you just click on it and just like this command ip routing to enable routing on that mat layer switch that's all if you don't do this one it will never work as a router good so let's go to the fourth step the first step is to create svis on the mat layer switch as per the respective vlan id and assign the ip addresses so what what are svis svis are switch virtual interfaces so switch virtual interfaces are for as are like we created how many vlans here VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. So, SVI will be interface of VLAN 10, interface of VLAN 30, or interface of VLAN 10. So, let's create SVIs as per the VLAN ID. So, we just say interface VLAN 10. Okay? And we hit enter. Right? Then we assign it IP address. So the IP address should be the first IP address in this subnet IP IT department. Okay, you just say IP add to be one and two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one. Select one of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and you hit enter. That's all. We've created the SVI for IT department and added it IP address. Okay, exit. So let's do for uh HR department which is VLAN 20 okay then we are uh, we give it a peer address of 2.1 and the SVS should act as the default gateway of each respective department okay and finally VLAN 30 um 3.1 this is now inter VLAN routing part do right so we have done that part is for intervillian routing and we are done doing intervillian routing on that much layer switch so let's move to dscp we are going to create pools <coughs> assign network addresses default gateway and dns so the default gateway should be the ip address of the the svs that we just created okay all right so let's create pools for dscp 
the first thing that you should always do when you're configuring DCP, make sure you enable that service. Just say service DSCP and hit enter. Now start creating pools. IP DSCP pool for let's say IT department. IT pool. Okay. And assign the network of a uh, network of um 102.168.1.1.1. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. The networks were like 10 dot something, but I used 1 dot, 2 dot, 3 dot. It should be 10 dot, 20 dot, or 30 dot. But no problem. Let's, let's just go there. We can edit here easily than in the configuration. Okay. All right. So, uh, 7 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0. Okay. And hit enter. Then default, default router should be the IP address of the SVI that we created for VLAN 10, it was 1.2.168.1.1. Then you're sending the DNS, DNS to be DNS to be the same as default gateway as per now. Okay, uh, exit. So before I go to HR pool, I'll just go here and modify this as one dot something, not 10 dot something. This one also like uh, 10, 20, 10, 2 dot something, not 20 dot something. And here also uh, three or something or thirty or something. Okay, all right. So let's proceed to create a pool for HR. So I just try to retrieve. Um, yes. So just say HR pool, HR. Then the network, the network should be two or something. Uh, default router should be the IP address of the um, the SVI for VLAN twenty, which was two dot one. Before, I mean, DNS now will remain as a um, default router as per now. And finally, let's go to finance pool. The network was three or something. Um, default router should be three or something. Three or one. And DNS to be like uh, the same as default route. Exit and do right. So when you come back here and uh, we say exclude the ranges of IP address that should not be assigned to host dynamically. So let's exclude. We just say IP DSCP uh, exclude the address to be let's exclude first for IT department which is 1 and 2 dot 168 dot 1.1 2 1 and 2 dot 168.1.10 so we don't want the DCP server to assign host in IT department IP address uh, from 1 to 10 okay so the same should apply for HR HR department HR department should now be 2 dot something 2 uh, here 2 now finally finance and do right okay so number seven go to every pc and change the option to dcp test communication so we are going to every pc here and change the option to dcp so let's start go to static first and change it to dcp it should pick ip address from dot 11 because from 1 to 10 was excluded okay all right so dcp is successful when i come back here it should take two dot something i turn, turn it back to static then dcp first so that's successful then we go finally to finance department come to ip configuration um wait until it gets three or something yeah, well that's good so let's go go here and try to ping let's go here and try to ping ping 12.168.3.11 so it will ping because we've enabled at uh, uh, interval routing they belong to different villains so they should be able to communicate even if i try to ping 2.11 it will be able to communicate because dcp and interval routing are working perfectly fine so thank you so much guys i'll come back to uh, our good spreadsheet and mark number six as done so we, when we make, when we meet next, we will do uh, the configuration of DCP server, a DNS, web, email, FTP server, okay? All right. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. 
share with a friend like this video and drop a comment below thank you so much and let's see you again in the next class bye